if we have that case, and let's say the shop has the three vehicles inside already, where do you put it? That's when we talked about putting it behind a fence. So that's where that came into play. And I agree with him on that. So you would not have the fence initially? Not initially, not but then again, we're not going to have anybody bringing stuff in unless we have the space right now anyway, because I want everything inside because of security again. Okay. So he's also concerned about vehicles for sale or rent? Yep. We talked about that. He didn't seem to have, Dick didn't have any problems with that. He says it's zoned for it. Um, it's something we can't do right off the bat, but we like to focus on small trailers because uh, you have big RV centers nearby um, and possibly um, working with a company like uh, Travel America. You've probably seen those on the road. They're little Class Cs mm -hmm. that you can rent for the weekend um, just for additional residual income. But your, your purpose here is today is just to um, get permission to... Yeah. No, yeah, for the ZBA for the, the uh, change of use. That's yep. here. You're not asking for any of this today. Um, I've never done one of these. Okay. Um, so I'm just going off what Dick explained. He says, um, you're just doing change of use. Right. Uh, then um, that was my point. once we own the property, then we'll do the uh, business license aspect of it. But there's no reason why we couldn't talk about it now if it needs to be talked about. But as far as the use, if, you, you know, if you're calling it a repair shop, then when you go to want to sell something in the future, you would probably have to return here for yet another change oh. of use because, you know, specifically okay. it's, you're not covering sales or... I don't... We just talked about the whole thing, so it sounded sure. like we were wrapping it all up in one shot. Because gotcha. I told him, I said, so I might as well be up front what we plan on doing, get it done now, so that way we don't have to right. rehash things. Okay. So his next point was storage of scrap slash waste products. Yeah, so we'll have a dumpster. Um, that's the only thing we haven't clarified is where it would be uh, located, but that'll most likely be behind that fence once it's put up. And we could probably put up one of the sides up right away so that okay. way it's not seen. Right. So we have a dumpster now at my house that I'll move over. But as for sales, he said it's zoned for it, so I don't know if there's any special things for that. I haven't been told yeah, differently. Well, you know, we would just have to take a look at, at where, what that falls under, you know. I don't, okay. Because it, it, it wouldn't be motor vehicle sales, but it would be... Yeah, it's kind of one of those weird categories that don't exist per se. Hmm. Um, he told me we're kind of classified like a, a lawnmower shop. You know, you can sell your lawnmowers, you can service it, and that's what he kind of says, kind of like an umbrella thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not really familiar with that. But yeah, it'd be great if we can clear that up. Makes it easy for me. So he also mentions emissions from paint. He said you won't be painting, but I'm sure there'll be some things primed well, and... Uh, no, not per se, unless it's like a small item, something like that. Um, if we had to take down a bare chassis, we may very well powder coat it. Um, but that's not on site. If there's paint, it'd probably be small stuff, like something like a rattle can types paint. Um, the only other fum fumes you might have is if we ever have to use some form of adhesive, possibly if we did a rubber roof on a trailer. Um, it's pretty much what you'd have there, and maybe refinishing a cabinet, maybe. Okay, he mentioned signage. Are you going to have signs? Yeah, so when I, when I showed you on here, um, I'll pull it back up, pass it around. The... Um, I'm thinking what we're going to end up doing is doing a uh, banner for right now. And then, let's zoom that in a little bit. Do a banner for now, and then, you know, we'll have time, we'll make it on the side. Uh, Dick said you can have up to 36 uh, square feet, so I figured that sign would be roughly six by six, should cover that. And we'll have a light above that to light it. Gotcha. And all our lighting is going to be LED. I'm glad I made that. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it easy. As for a road sign, we talked about that. Right now, that's not in the books, per se. Okay. Um, I have my truck that I drive, and I think we'll just park it there when I'm there. When I go home, it goes with me. So he mentions the total number of units on lot at all times. 
the most that I went and walked out there and just envisioning the motorhomes, if you will, for that rental, I'm thinking you safely have 13 to 14 potential spaces if you use that whole grassed area out front. I don't want to interfere with our driveway space. So we'll have probably a good ha almost half of that frontage that's out there just for our driveway area. And I want to keep that clear as much as possible. If you have to move stuff out for the day, so be it. But you know what I mean? And that wouldn't count anything that might be on the side of the building behind the fence. And I think that's, what, maybe four trailers at tops maybe behind there? Yeah, at tops. Okay. So that does it for Dick's questions, and I think he, he brought up some good ones that I think we should revisit, but, uh, okay. but I'll keep moving through these letters first, and then we'll, sure. we can kind of revisit some of those. This is from the Board of Selectmen. Glad to see business coming to town. Would like to see site improvement landscaping yes. needs, viable septic system yes. uh, because he needs site plan review. Uh, Dick said nothing about site plan review, um, but uh, Bill Serta is, he did the perk test back in 2003, I believe it was. Uh, he's the one who's designing the septic. Uh, that's already been spoken. It's a small system, Dick said, that's required. Uh, we also have to put a well and uh, with that. There's no well, there's no septic, there's nothing. It's just a building right now. Um, so Bill was notified yesterday, so he's working on that plan as we speak. Um, he explained to that east, southeast corner area is where the tank would go. The far south area of that property is where the leach field would retain. Uh, then on your southwest corner of the property is where the well will actually be. And that meets that parameter of the footage apart. So Any this wells in that area that you know of? The property to the south, um, there is already a septic there. So Bill's already familiar with all of those already, including but Dick. The, I mean, you have to dig a well, right? We have to dig a well, and there's nothing in that area. So we've had three well companies come out to give us quotes already. And Dick's been involved about where that's at as well as Bill Serta. Because that could be trouble. In what way? Deerfield's a funny place. Some places go down uh, pretty deep for water. Sure. The guy from uh, New Hampshire was thinking probably no more than 25 feet. Oh. Surf can't be a surface well, then. It's going to be uh, artesian. He's, uh, no, he says because you have the stream out yeah. behind that property, um, it kind of sounds as if you're going to be, you got to level that out plus go below that. Oh, um, I forget what he said the flow rate is, but be, he says because it's just the bathroom, you don't need a huge yeah. flow rate. Um, I hate to see you get stuck in there and not get water afterwards. Yeah, well, <laughs> that would happened. be a problem. That's happened. Um, we have a pretty good space. That's why I'm clearing out all those trees that are that have grown up. So we have the guys have room to work with the um, gentleman who we're going to go with um, out of Keene, New Hampshire. He's the one who put the well in at the property south of us. So he's already familiar with the space. So there is existing wells there already. There, there is to so the property to the south. Uh, then you have the old GMC dealer, which is that antique shop. They have a well. Uh, oh. Then five and ten north of there, the little five and ten antique. Yeah, don't scare me like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've had three people come out, and at least the one guy is really familiar with the areas who we're going to go with. So this, so at the top of this letter from Wendy Foxman from the. Select board uh, it says on next agenda underline need more info. So I'm not sure if they're planning to talk about. This. I haven't been contacted for anything. Okay, and that's sort of uh, mirrored by the chief of police. He says he would like to see the plans and view them. Sure. Um, I mean, nobody's contacted me, so I'm more than happy to work <laughs> with them because we do want to put up the lightage, you know, for security. Sure. Um, Site issues, entrance, exit. However, I am unable to address more without a set of plans. Yeah, well, those should be <laughs> official probably in the next day or two, but that's what they, my architects gave me sure. for today. Uh, and then I have a letter from a neighbor from 
Arthur N. Brewer and Christopher Garland of 711 Greenfield Road who could not attend. They're happy to see their neighbor to the south opening a business in that location. It is great for town as well as busy Route 5 and 10. We understand that it is for repair and restoration of RVs. Our only concern is the appearance of the lawn in front of the building and the front, the footage on Route 5 and 10 that must be frontage. Yeah. Will there be a fence or some type of, of storage enclosure? Will there be a limit to the number of unregistered vehicles and RVs that will be permitted to be parked? We do know that the existing building is large with great footprint and could house many of the vehicles being worked on. We're hoping these concerns could be raised and addressed with some type of verbiage and writing to address our concerns as an adjunct to the special permit. That would be from the gentleman who's selling his building then. Oh, at 7-Eleven? That would be the old GMC dealer with the barber shop. Okay. Yeah, we've spoke before. Great. And Steve Barrett from Conservation Commission has no comment. No Board of Health concerns. No comment from the assessors. Okay. So I think that covers. Our you want to address letters. what was in that letter about the. from the neighbor there? I think we went over a lot of that already. Okay. Um, and. I think unless anybody else has any specific questions and the public doesn't seem to have any comment, we could go and, and deliberate a little bit, talk about what we could do next. I Personally, I'm feeling like you don't own the property yet. No, this is the last condition. Once it's approved by ZBA, we'll close on the property. Okay. Um, you know, we've had issues with that before with people coming in and, and presenting one thing to us and then a transaction goes through and We've, we're a little bit hesitant to give a special permit to somebody that doesn't own the property yet. Well, we have permission from the property owner for that. CBA. I understand that. It just it's a matter of of making sure that our T's and I's are dotted because once we give you permission, then we can't really come chase you down and take it back if, say, <laughs> right. some other entity buys the property or something. Yeah, it's an escrow right now, so this is just the final. It's already ready to close. As soon as we have this, the plan is is we've got to turn in the. Uh, final estimates from the contractors, then we close. Okay. That's where we're at with the property right now. Sure. So, Because we don't I, want to come in here, buy a property, then come in and find out, oh, well, you can't use the property for what you want. We don't want to get stuck by right. in that format. Right. And and we might be able to give you a sense of, of you know, some of the concerns that we have um, to the point that you could feel like, should you be able to satisfy those sure. things or have the special permit enumerate those yeah. issues, then we could... Yeah, because we confidently me and Lisa here, we've already discussed what we plan on doing to the property, how to deal with it. Because our whole fact is, like we put in the memento that went out to you guys, is good-looking property. Right. Bringing that, you're bringing in high-paying jobs. You need to have a good-looking place, otherwise your clients aren't coming to you. Right. You know. <laughs> well, I think you know I speak for myself only, but I definitely support Appreciate your it. desire to do this, and it's great that you want to use this piece of property, and I think it would be good for the town. But it's there a great are. Fit. There are a lot of uh, just, you know, these concerns that we have about, obviously, the, the motor vehicle and trailer thing, I think, is a little bit unclear. You know, at what point does it become an RV or a motor vehicle if it's got a motor in it, but you're only doing work in the cabin space? Some of that, I think we'd want to get really settled, as well as the sales. Yeah, the, um, as far as we're looking at mechanical, we're not working on somebody's motor, so we're not doing oil changes, we're not doing transmission services. When you look at trailer RV, because I've been in it for a while. I even worked at Diamond RV at one time. The most you're doing on the chassis might be a brake job, and even that I don't want to do. So you're just taking the body, the camping part of that body. So you're not doing anything more than that. That's where we want to focus on. Because when you get into the other stuff, now you're just like Diamond RV. We're not Diamond RV. We don't want to be Diamond RV. We're in a total different niche market in that factor. Gotcha. I have a procedural question. Yeah. <clears throat> so could we um, request that all the things that these other papers are showing us need to be addressed until that's all done, that that should happen before we do anything? I understand that. And I think that would be the most uh, feasible. As far as getting plans to people that need plans or what some yeah, of these? Satisfying all the questions and the, and the requests of everybody before it's Yeah, no, this has been brought to my attention, so I'm just being blindsided on that part. And then it finally would be seven, yeah. but there's yeah. still more steps to go. I don't think sure. we can do anything on that right now. 
but I may be wrong. Would that be something that you'd be willing to do is come back to us if we can? I do, but I need to really know is this in favor of the town so I know whether I purchase this property or not. Right. Well, I mean, I, it's a. I think that we're always hefty. in favor of, of progress, <laughs> of business, of that sort of thing. It's just we have to make sure that it meets all of our criteria. Where do you, where do you see the hiccups right now, though? I think that it sounds like sales. I think yeah. sales and the storage and some of the, the visual elements. I the think, storage, are, I think, is pretty simple to solve. Like I said, we don't want somebody bringing their trailer in until two weeks prior. So that gives them enough time. So when we're ready to move a trailer out, they're coming in. It's not sitting around. Right. Sitting. Because <laughs> now you're, you're just asking for animals or something to get in there. Sure. Yeah, I don't want that. Um, when we do sales, you know, the trailers are locked up, that kind of thing. Um, be a brand new vehicles, uh, maybe on occasion we might do a consignment of some sort, um, but it has to be something we're willing to put our name behind if it's a consignment scenario. Um, but other than that, we're not going to have stuff laying around. It's not our goal. Anything storage for materials, it's all inside. Um, nothing outside. Where does this have to go <clears throat> next before it comes back to us? Well, so I'm not sure, I don't, nobody's given you the sense that you have to see any other boards. Or nobody's contacted us It's at just all. this one comment about the select board, and I don't understand on next agenda. Do you think that means they're Is that somebody we can that? call while we're here, possibly, and I find out? I wouldn't think so. But it does seem like there are a couple of entities that are asking for more information, sure. including yeah. the police chief. Um, the police chief part, that's pretty easy. That's probably just typical security issues with the property. And I'm sure traffic, traffic too. is an issue. Okay, we wouldn't have any more traffic than what would be next door. Uh, getting out and getting, off, getting in and getting out. There's only one driveway. But if you're pulling off in the other lane and coming in, you have to swing out. Well, I think that's a concern. I did measurements yesterday. It should be fine because okay. the neighbor already has tractor trailers coming in there all the time. He, we actually were out there marking, and he came out and told us that. I didn't know he had tractor trailers coming in and out of there. Well, I think just out of respect to those parties, we sure. should, should allow you to uh, give them some information. And I also, I'm personally hesitant without you owning the property to issue a special permit, but I don't know how others Would feel about that. Would it be a, something like contingent maybe? Like say, hey, yeah, if you, once you purchase it, then we go forward on it. So at least that would make me feel better calling right. the realtor tomorrow, say, let's go ahead and finish things up. That's where we're at. You know, I don't think, I don't think at this point we can give you any guarantee like that. Um, I guess maybe like Linda's suggesting, we should start with just why don't you satisfy some of this other, getting some of this other information yeah, to sure. police chief and, and contact someone at the select board and see if they're, mm -hmm. they want you to be there or if they have questions or issues. Would you guys help me out with who to contact on that? At well, least. I'm sure if you just come into the town offices okay. during the day, you can get the contact sure, information we'll check with them for tomorrow. somebody. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of outspoken <laughs> opposition. So I think if yeah. you guys are flexible and yeah. you're willing yeah. to work with us, we'll be mm -hmm. able to come up with something. So if we... A little footwork. Yeah, so, um, so on the sales side of it, is there any details I should kind of prepare for for you? for next time, do you think? Well, I think you should decide if you are going to do sales, if it's prudent to come in with that plan, you know, saying we're changing the use from what yeah. it is to RV repairs and sales. It would be a waste to the front property to not utilize it. Right, so if you just, if you say that, then it, you know, it would allow us to sort of analyze it in that. Yeah, I'm light. looking at it's a pretty integral part of the process here. And I'm not us. sure, I'm not sure if it, changes people's perspective on it, but it would be a different, in my mind, it's a diff becomes a different animal sure. slightly. Than yeah, because when there. I was talking to Dick, I asked him about all these details prior to us even considering the purchase, and sure. he says, you're zoned for it, so you're good to sure. go. Yeah. It so it's the first hearing the uh, <laughs> what's going on here kind of scenario. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think if you're fine with continuing, we'll let you do a little bit more research, and we will... Uh, so you got the, the police chief concern, and then you said the someone from the select, select board yes. questioning that. Can I get a copy of that letter so they can um, refer to it? I don't know if I can make a copy right now, but you're welcome to. I'll give you mine. You okay, that'd be great. I appreciate it. I got some comments on here, but you don't mind. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> as long as they're good ones. Um, and then I'll check with the police chief tomorrow. Um, I don't know when they, those folks meet, so I would 
doesn't mean it. I just need to check with that individual. And if, you should probably get in touch with the police chief. He personally. Yeah, I'll call him tomorrow. Uh, yeah. And then. Uh, I think that was all. The yeah, the police chief. Concerns and neighbors will deal with, and. Excellent. So. Sounds like we're pretty good to go ahead and close on it then. You know, that's a, it's totally up to you. I mean, it's a always a risky venture starting out in a business, but we're not going to be well. We've been in the business for obstacle, a year you know. now, so that's we know great. what we're doing. And it, this is just you know, we were going to be in Greenfield, and we got burnt by a property owner, and that's why we're so concerned about making sure things are on par sure. before we commit. Absolutely, yeah. And you have to understand that the the zoning board has been. <laughs> to use your parlance, burned also by yeah. people coming in and, and getting permission for something and then changing things and Absolute doing it differently. Fact. And it, it's just difficult for us to go back on those types of things. Yeah. So I, see what you're saying. I yeah. think we're safe for uh, okay. trying to get that ironed out first. So uh, would anyone like to make a motion that we continue until the next zoning meeting? I make that motion. Right. Anyone <laughs> second that? Second it. Okay. And a vote, how do you vote, Rich? Linda? Yes. Bernie? Bernie? So Nine. put it on for the next meeting? So I think it's. Or do we have to do a whole other thing that goes out in the newspaper? No, it shouldn't have to again. be reposted. It just, if you get uh, your end sorted out and then speak to someone in the town office, okay. Pat Kroll, or uh, they'll, okay. they'll get you scheduled. All right, so I'll plan on being back here for the next meeting. Then. Perfect. Right. Sounds good to me. Thank you guys Thanks, very guys. much. Thank you. So we do have. A couple of minutes here. I don't know if anybody got a chance to look over minutes. Um, I think we'd already seen this one, the January 19th minutes. But then we also have the February 16th minutes. And I wrote them, so I'm not going to go over them again. But if you guys notice anything that doesn't look nope, good, we'll uh, get that changed. I don't know technically with the special permit, you know, I feel pretty strongly that the owner should come in, mm -hmm. you know, after that last issue that we had with the retreat thing where it was, you know, they, it just, they didn't purchase it in the same name. Thank you guys. Have a good night. Um, but that's, that's neither here nor there. All right. So we didn't vote on anything. We were all in attendance. Ron was not here. Robert Decker did not attend. <laughs> and we can, do we need to make a motion to approve these minutes? I don't, I never know. I think you have to. Yeah. Is that worth doing while we're here? Sure. All right. <laughs> Uh, would anyone like to make a motion to approve our minutes from the last two meetings? I'm not sure how to do it. I'll make that motion. Okay. I'll second it. Rich, Frank, and how does everyone vote? Yes. Aye. Yes. And then. Unless there's any other business, we can make a motion to adjourn as well. I make a motion to adjourn. Does anyone second that? I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Well. <laughs> wow. Kind of like a catch-22, though, because you don't want to you don't want to tell him he's got the permission before he owns it, so he can buy it. But at the same time, you don't want him to buy it thinking he's all set here, and right. then have him get into issues. But I think as long as he knows, we're not going to blindside him with mm -hmm. some other issue. Yeah. Know? But I think that sale one is. I don't know. I don't think. I think he needs to say he's doing sales if he wants to change the use to sales. Mm.
Does that be change the use again? Sure, cool. right. He mm -hmm. could come in, but it sounded like he was under the impression that he could just start selling, mm -hmm. which yeah, I don't. Because it was zoned that way. Right. Yeah. I don't think that Dick is necessarily doing us any favors with that. Um, so that, that zoning says you can't? It, you know, it doesn't say you can't, but I would think that the sale would be a different use than repair. I think if he wants to start selling, and it sounds like he does, he should come to us for a special permit to change the use to repair and sale. Mm. That way we can talk about, okay, what kind of signage are you going to have for the sales? Are you going to have, you know, stickers on the windows of these trailers? Are there going to be balloons and wiggly arm guys? And mm -hmm. so, but. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. thank you guys very much. Thank you, Hope you guys have a great weekend. Yep. Nobody opened this. Do we dare open this letter? I don't know what this is. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see if he wants to shut this.